Greetings, my beautiful lovelies. Hello, it's Emmy. Welcome back. Today, I'm going to be using the Gook paste from my Gak or Gook fruit tasting. If you missed that video, I will put the link up above to make a traditional Vietnamese sticky rice that uses this beautiful red paste. Now this dish is called soy guk and it was brought to my attention by many of you after I posted my pictures of guk fruit on Instagram and on Facebook. Many of you said, oh, you've got to make soy guk. So I researched it and it sounds like a lovely dish and what it consists of is sticky rice or glutinous rice or sweet rice, which is a short grained rice and it has a sticky texture when it's cooked. Now this particular rice is colored with this guk paste, also known as baby jackfruit. It has a beautiful red orange hue to it. So that color is associated with good luck. So it's eaten during the Lunar New Year and also during wedding. So I'm going to make that recipe for you guys today. My recipe is adapted from Burraville. I'll put a link down to her YouTube page down below. All right, let's go ahead and get started. So the night before you're gonna make this, you gotta prepare your rice. Now you're gonna use short grained rice or glutinous rice, and you're gonna wash it a few times with lots of cold water, and then cover it with a couple inches of water and allow it to soak overnight, about eight to 12 hours. Then you're supposed to drain it and allow it to air dry for about 15 minutes. And that's what I've got right here. So I'm gonna add that to this bowl here, my rice. To that, I'm gonna add one tablespoon of Chinese cooking wine, and then I'm gonna add a half teaspoon of kosher salt. Now, if you haven't seen my gook tasting video, be sure to check out the link up above. It is absolutely amazing. Probably one of the most striking, it probably is the most striking fruit that I've ever opened or tasted. Absolutely gorgeous. So to collect this paste, I put on a pair of gloves and I just squeezed each one of the seeds to yield this much paste. It's probably about three tablespoons. In a lot of videos that I saw to make this recipe, people used a prepared version of this. You can buy it frozen apparently, so you don't have to you know, deal with the fruit and stuff. But since I had a $50 guck fruit, I decided not to let it go to waste and I wanted to use it here. So here's what I got. The pulp from one guck fruit. Oh, I forgot to mention this is two cups of glutinous rice and I used a rice cup measuring cup. Now we're gonna steam the rice. So I've got, I've got this little steamer basket here. I'm gonna place the rice onto that. And now I'm going to steam this for 10 minutes over hot water, and then I'm going to introduce some coconut milk. So let me go put this on the steamer and then we'll make the coconut milk together. I've got a half cup of coconut milk here. This is just canned. This is my favorite brand, Chow Ko, and it is Thai. I love this brand of coconut milk. This is what I always try to buy because it's got a lot of coconut oil in it. It's just rich and thick and creamy and delicious. It's not watered down. It's not sweetened at all. It's delicious. Two tablespoons of sugar. So stir to dissolve. So now that we have our coconut milk, what we're going to do is add this to our rice while it's cooking. So after the first 10 minutes, we're going to drizzle about a third of this on top of the rice and kind of mix it in gently. And then five minutes later, we're going to add more and do that until we hit about 25 minutes total cooking time. So now the rice is done and then we're going to drizzle it with a little bit of cooking oil to give it a little bit of shine, let it cool a bit and we're ready to serve. And here is my soy guk. My glutinous sticky rice is all completed and done and it smells so good. My whole kitchen smells of coconut milk. It smells phenomenal. And look at this beautiful red color. It's so interesting because my mind automatically thinks that this is something savory, something that might contain tomato, but in actuality, this is more akin to a dessert because we've added sugar and coconut. I can't wait to taste it. If you've never had sticky rice before, oh my goodness, it's one of my most favorite things. I love it sweet, I love it savory. So I'm gonna put it into a bowl. There it is, so stinking cute. And then I'm gonna take a little bit of mint and put it on top as garnish. Here we go, itadakimasu. Mmm. <laughs> That's so good. 
The texture of sticky rice is so good. It's sticky and chewy, but familiarly rice, that great steamed rice flavor. And the whole dish is perfumed with coconut. It smells and tastes of coconut. And then there's a little bit of salt in there, which is a great little foil to not only the coconut, but the addition of sugar in there. I should also mention that the gak fruit doesn't actually add any flavor to this, in my opinion. All it really adds is a bunch of color. All I really taste is the sweetness, a little bit of salt, and the coconut. This is coconut rice that is tinged red with the gak fruit. It doesn't really taste of anything like the fruit itself. But the fruit was pretty subtle, so I'm not at all surprised. All right, so there you have it, soy gak. I hope you guys enjoyed that one. I hope you guys learned something. Please share this video with your friends. Follow me on social media, like and subscribe, and I shall see you in the next one. Doodaloo, take care, bye. <laughs>